tactic in the realm. Here we're going to show you how to make a beat with some EQ8 and drum bus effects on Ableton Live. I got 10 sweet, really nice. It kind of adds a little frequency. You can almost make it sound like a 808 or something like that. It's pretty dope. Um, there's a lot of things you could do with the wetness and drive and crunch. You can make it sound soft, medium, hard, you can add compression. It does a lot of great stuff. We'll get into that later, but just want to show you how I'm going to loop this sample from this Andre Castellanos vinyl. Some dope stuff. This guy is a maestro. So here's the sample, we're going to loop it, added some transients, add some filter now, adjust the frequency with that kick to be the great kick, and we'll add one to C1, just for a little fun, from the hi-hat later, but we got to make it sound greater. Speed it up just with the controls. Go to the D tune. Let's make it sound really in tune. Just going up a little bit. Let's do this to the beat. Yes, I see it's coming together. Are you with me? Let's do it like this one more time to the beat. Uh huh. Now we got the snare, let's add an EQ8 when we get it there. Up and down and right, that's how we get it. Then let's drag and drop it when we really want to hit it. So here's an EQ8 for the kick. I like the levels to look smooth. Now here's the drum bus. The frequency adds a little of that 808 going on with it. Check this out. We can adjust that though. Gotta find the right tone to go with the bass line and stuff and the samples. We're gonna make it low. Yeah, like that. Just a little low. Just how we gonna do it. Ain't gonna flow too much. Just try to get it like this. Going around so we get the right hiss. Going on, let's keep doing it, don't 